the jumpers have moved in, the Grand Prix dressage have moved out, but before they did, we managed to catch up with riders from Germany, Sweden and Spain in this TikTok magic moment. Hi, I'm Patrick Kittle. Hello, and I'm Sönke Rotenberger. Well, we are here to ride the dressage at the World Equestrian Games. Sönke took a gold medal, so top sport. Yeah, we're, as you already said, at the World Equestrian Games and uh, doing dressage uh, with our horses and having lots of fun here. This is the fanciest place I've ever done an autogram signing. It's so cool that people come in, a lot of kids asking stuff, wanting to know, you know, how it's a bit behind the, the curtains in the sport, and that's what I love. Yeah, it's nice to get this opportunity to talk to the fans and listen uh, to what they thought of the two tests we've already performed, and also to get the feedback that they will support us. Uh, maybe Sönke has the best signature, but I have a smiley still, so I think we, we, you know, we put it out equally. So we're coming to the end of the dressage portion of the World Equestrian Games. For me, it's a little bit sad because it's my favorite sport and I, you know, I was really excited to see everybody compete and it's been a little bit nostalgic about all of my favorites coming to an end. So I have here with me Juan Matute and we have Quantico. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're doing good. A little bit upset as well. A little bit sad. It's the final countdown, like you said. We're getting picked up in not so long and uh, yeah, two minus one hour more or less. So the, how was your ride? Yeah, it went, it went well. I think we stayed consistent with our scores throughout the season. Um, being here is already a huge success. I'm very proud to be able to represent my country and uh, I'm very proud, pleased and thankful for all of the support and for the amount of learning I get to get to have from, from this amazing horse. He's taught me along. And along this is your, along first, along your first World of Kaiser from Games, yeah? First WEG, yes. So what are you planning on doing after? So right now we're planning on giving uh, Quantico a break. I think he deserved it. It's been a really long season. We live in Wellington throughout the winter, so since January pretty much he's been going. And uh, yeah, he's been performing really, really well. And I think it's, it's, <laughs> it's about time that now he can have a few weeks off, uh, spend some time in the paddock, uh, really just, you know, light training. And then so that they can recuperate not only physically, but also psychologically, you know, because at the end of the day, even though they are used to the competition world, uh, it is a little bit stressful. It's new, new places. New You're traveling very far too. It's flying to Liège uh, this this evening or tomorrow morning. I'm actually not entirely sure. I know they leave in about an hour to the airport, and uh, and then from there they, they travel down to Spain to Madrid. That's where I'm based. Oh. Hi. Let me show you something really quickly. He unfortunately on the trip uh, to try on smacked his face, so we call him now. The nickname of the week is. Harry Potter. So for your first World Equestrian Games, what was your favorite part of the entire event? Well, sharing the arena with some of my idols since I was very little is, is a very special feeling. Uh, getting to compete in the same arena as, as yeah, some of the very best of the world is, is amazing and it's a thrill. Totally breaks my heart to say goodbye to you guys and I hope you guys have a super trip home. Thanks so much for joining Thank me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Say and goodbye, thanks, Quantico. Perfect time just to say goodbye. Hi there. <laughs>